from bronchiolitis to, to COPD, um, we have really good evidence now from several birth cohort studies that development of COPD is most certainly determined in early life. Uh, the origins of COPD essentially start in childhood. And one of the important independent risk factors that is becoming apparent to contributing to the development of COPD is childhood asthma. The development of childhood asthma means that there is a failure to attain maximal lung function in young adulthood, which then stays and tracks through to adult life. It used to be thought that COPD was a result of accelerated decline in lung function during adulthood but we know that early life childhood influences mean that you have a poor early growth, lung growth, and a failure to attain maximal lung function in adulthood, um, which results in subsequent tracking and COPD. And some of the factors that are really important are pneumonia in the first three years of life, wheezing with viral illnesses in the first three years of life, childhood asthma in the first five to six years of life, and really important are also antenatal exposures like maternal smoking, and in fact smoking exposure in early childhood. All of these determine the track or trajectory of lung function through adulthood. So if we want to impact COPD in adulthood, we need to think of interventions very early on in those first five to six years of life and even antenatally um, to try and prevent or impact uh, the development of COPD in adulthood.